Yeah, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Um, well, but in regards to Metal Gear Rising, it was in development yeah. for a while and they cancelled it because Hideo Kojima looked at what they'd done for the beta and they were like, this looks really naff, let's just cancel it. And then Platinum Games, who have done Vanquish, Bayonetta, okay. and yeah. Mad World, Good name. came in and basically saved the day and they released a new trailer and it looks awesome. Yeah. They focused less on the whole kind of gimmick thing they had with the right analog stick controlling the sword anywhere you go. I think Afro Samurai did that. Like, it's a yeah. conversation, but yeah. Platinum games basically just overall the gameplay just to make a really good stylistic um, action game. That's cool. Which they're good at. And yeah, being out. Yeah, good it looks really good. They've got, um, is it Quentin Flynn who plays Ryden? In Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4. He's a voice actor. Name sounds familiar. Yeah, um, they've still got him, which is cool. And I, I think, although one person said, oh, that's a pretty good point, he was worried that everything Metal Gear Rising would undermine what the series stood for in terms of Solid Snake's character. <clears throat> and basically what that means is Solid Snake was not in a good state in Metal Gear Solid 4. Let's put it like that. I won't yeah, ruin it, but yeah, he's had a hard life and he's finally got some chill out time at the end of it. He's worked a lot to basically take down these few Metal Gears over the series. Like, well, and basically, in the trailer for Metal Gear Rising, Ryden was having a sword fight with a Metal Gear. Literally holding it off with his sword. And it's kind of like... So, basically, everything that Snake has done is totally insignificant compared to what this ninja guy is doing right now. So I think that's what some fans are worried about. Mm. Saying that is a spin-off series, so a Solid Snake will always be badass. The big boss is better. The big boss is the original. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5, they confirmed it, but they have no details about anything. They just said they're doing it. Um, in terms of you know quite a fair bit about story, don't you? If they do it, where would yeah. you like it to go? I was saying with some guys on a forum, i find it interesting if they did something with the boss. Big boss is mental? Yeah. It may be like, because um, her missions with the Cobra unit, you know, the pain, the fear, the sorrow, the end, the fury, they all did some stuff in World War Two. So it'd be interesting what they did then. And also, it's a good time... Um, to see when the boss basically got her motivations to kind of, well, she didn't really trust who she was fighting with. Because uh, she was saying that she fell pregnant and gave birth uh, during D Day. And although there's speculation that that child was Ocelot. Think about uh, it. Yeah, he's about uh, 20 at the time. Yeah, close ties to Big Boss. But it was only hinted at. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so basically. I like to see something to be done with the boss. Oh, that sounds interesting. Even if you had some kind of know, squad system or something, because you had points in Metal Gear Four when you're fighting with a rat patrol, was it? Uh, Meryl and her team. I know the base story of Metal Gear Solid Four. I never actually played it. Though. Okay. There were points where you're in shootouts with kind of other AI. So if they advance that with the Cobra unit. Just send out the fury on his jetpack into like some people or something. Hmm. Was it this Metal Gear? Is when um, actually, was it even Metal Gear? When you're in a prison and you had like catch up on the floor, you you did down guard and came. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Right, um, Our memories are slightly Otacon leaves it for you, and if you figure out how to use it, you can either hide under the bed, use the ketchup to make it look like you're bleeding to death, or if you yeah, do the. the no, no, that's just, that's just noise. Like, show. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But if you let yourself get tortured for a third time, um, Grey Fox comes and slices the door open for you. I remember saying that one as well. So I think this is the first video game I ever got emotional to. Fucking heavens, bro. Um, aliens. Come on, if you had an alien inside, yeah, that's what you'd be doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> you know what? I'm I like. just, I was so out of context. Like, yeah, this is the most emotional game I've ever played. Fucking aliens. 
<laughs> but yeah, um, the whole thing with Grey Fox. Um, I like characterization in video games. Even though you didn't see that much of Grey Fox, they spoke so much about him. Yeah. And I caught on. I haven't played Metal Gear 2 or 1, but um, I caught on that basically Snake and Grey Fox are pretty close. So. Yeah, that kind of sucked when he dies. Spoilers! Yeah. So, <laughs> it's been 14 years. If you haven't played this game, alright, by now, then, you know, screw you. Uh, then saying that, despite it being a pretty claimed the best one in the series, I've actually never sat through and played uh, Snake Ear from start to finish. Yeah, it's quite long with the cutscenes. Yeah, but I don't even own the copy. I borrowed it and played it at a few friends' houses, my cousins. But... You can borrow my one if you want. I don't plan for consoles. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, Dick. Yes. We should say hello to part two. Hello, part two. We, we're getting all these nice technical things, but we've got more camera, got new topics, but we keep getting to say hello. The little important things we, we forget. We also yeah. said you advanced like five minutes on slightly, so I like to say what? Yeah. In case they were caring about what we're doing. Yeah, we just, um, for those who know Metal Gear, we just had the fight with um, Meryl. Well, when Snake and Meryl fought off the soldiers. And now, about to go find um, President Kenneth Baker and Revolver Ocelot. And we'll have a boss fight. Oh, yeah. So I want to. Oh, I remember this boss fight. Oh, yeah, he's pretty cool. I don't. Really? No. Wait, it's the one with that big square in the middle, isn't it? Like yeah, you, you can't. Around and stuff. Uh, you have to avoid the wires. Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember. But, um, yeah, I was going to say, when I was younger, I I'll start for I I'm really fortunate. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to pick up Metal Gear when I was so little. Not pick up like pick up a copy, but like actually get into it and understand it because it's a really in-depth yeah. series that I know people my age. I know guys like can't be bothered with those cutscenes, dude. And I was like, well, when I was little, I was patient enough to sit through the cutscenes every playthrough. They're like the most important thing. There's one thing I realised through Metal Gear 2 and the Splinter Cell series, how bad I was at the actual gameplay in terms of sneaking. Basically, in Splinter Cell, I would kill every guard and take out every light. I'd be so paranoid about being seen, even by guards that weren't there, because I killed them all. And obviously, um, you get your better ratings if you don't actually kill anyone. You like tranquilise them, put them out, avoid cameras and stuff like that, and save ammunition. Mm. And um, when I was younger, I was like so bad at that but now getting older and becoming a bit more of a you know appreciating like difficulty in games games. yeah like I get that sense of challenge out of it like trying so I'm playing on hard mode on Metal Gear Solid 3 and the most ammunition you can get for a handgun is like three clips at a a time that's like seven bullets a clip so it's really conserving ammo and actually running up to guards and using the CQC throw to knock them out but um, it is very cool, and that achievement really shows, because I go up to him and go, pff, pff, I'm like, yeah, did you see that? No, you didn't see that, because that's the point, I'm sneaking. <laughs> yeah, I then I had that to stealth pretty quick, because mm-hmm. the first main stealthy like game I played was uh, the very first Hitman. Yeah. I was playing that a few of my um, older cousins, and obviously playing with them and all these sort of... Show you the ropes, as it were. Well, it's interesting how I've adapted to different kinds of video games. Like playing Halo when I was little, I played on the easiest difficulty and was so anti-confrontational. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I was so confrontational. Well, not really confrontational, but I would like take everyone out in a stealth game. Now, I'll stealth through, try not to kill any people that I need to, and I'll also, well, on Halo, like I'll play on like heroic and just like jump through not take any cover so I'm like come on guys where are you you're like I'm cover I'm like it's food cover let's just go kill everyone yeah but you'll die I'll like, oh, die I remember um there's a mission which um the Cortana mission I can't remember what it's called now on Halo 3 where you pretty much have the suck ass mission it wasn't a good mission but you kind of had to run through that route so you're just gonna die yeah
guys, reflex, yeah, do you guys play through twin snakes? No. Okay, I was about to say, you say that as an ninja reflex. Watch the cutscenes from Twin Snakes. They are so over the top. That's the reason why I kind of prefer Metal Gear Solid 1. I mean, I like that they use the MGS2 engine for Twin Snakes, but if I want to play MGS2, I'll play MGS2. Plus, the cutscenes are just a bit too ridiculous. I know we're talking about Metal Gear Solid, which story is quite over the top, very in-depth uh, sci-fi, mm. with robot nuclear tanks. But people get what I mean when I say the Twin Snakes uh, cutscenes are a bit over the top. There's a bit um, on the platform elevator later in the game where these four guards jump onto the elevator and in this cutscene, uh, well on this game, they're just like, hey snake, freeze, and then jump straight into the gameplay. In the cutscene on the Twin Snakes version, he literally like, the snake just dodges all the bullets, they could collide, he jumps out of the way with his matrix jump, and then they blow up, they make this little explosion. <laughs> It's so odd. Why is it too run? There we go. Right, you're making it look a lot easier than it was when I first played this game. Yeah. <laughs> He says we're involved is better. Yeah. Our slot is a bit of a sadist. Um that te technique I used there, that is um courtesy of Magnum 66 or Derek Eid on YouTube. You know who you are, thank you. Yeah, that guy pretty much demolished this game in terms of how to do it. He did like, um, he played like every day for a couple of weeks and streamed it constantly, like trying to find new ways of like, speed running it and stuff. Yeah, okay. Grey Fox. Love him. He's yeah. awesome. Do you guys want to bother watching these bits of the cutscenes? Bring them off me. I'm not paused. How about you? Ah, oh, you can't talk because you're on the other side of the camera. That is like two days too late. Yeah. Well, two days. That's good a little bit. About we haven't even happened. uploaded the Resi ones yet. Not okay. All. Well, the remake one. Oh yeah, not oh, even all the. the first one, yeah. yeah. We've got plenty of stuff to upload. So about yeah. two weeks from now is when you will get this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only uploading was quicker. Though it's a pain in the backside. Look at him, the ball then. Then if you want to, when I get back, I can just set all of the... the rest of the part one, well, for a series. Set them all up to upload. Yeah, it's such a mate. It's your um, computer. I'm sure it slows it down, so. I don't want me. I've got many single player games I need to play. Really? Yeah. I need to learn how to play Victoria 2. Yeah. Yeah. Example, yeah, health growing. And yeah, more ammunition. It's actually rewarding you for beating the boss. Yeah, pretty cool. Do you ever notice in Metal Gear, you never have a boss fight with the exact same person in one game. I mean, yeah, sure, uh, you fight 
Liquid in the helicopter and then in Metal Gear and then like hand to hand but in terms of say you having three fights with him like fist fight mm. you only have like one fist fight with him one fight in Metal Gear and stuff yeah same thing with like um, Bork and Raven you fight him once in the tank and then you fight him in person but in terms of actual boss fights they're totally different true and you brought that up again or earlier even about the resi battles saying when they change form yeah it's like a whole new fight again so yeah yeah I see what you mean. yeah even with Nemesis um, with the mandatory fights you know first him with the rocket launcher then later he's got the tentacles and then he's in this kind of big blob form big blob there you go that's my input big blob right Nathan you haven't really said much because I don't know much about Metal Gear. I already said this, man. You're making me look like a jackass. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, um... In that cutscene, basically, that guy's like, oh, um, I'll give you the Kodak um, number so you can ring that girl in the cell, so you can, like, hook up. <laughs> uh, but he forgets, and so he's like, oh, damn it. He's like, oh, no, it's on the back of the CD case. Look at the back of the CD case. So he's like, okay. And at that point, I was like, what the hell is, yeah. what's going on? But yeah, um, case over there, the actual game case has a screenshot here with that same codec number. So that's what I was referring to. And it's funny because I basically, I saw that code straight away at the back. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to ring her like, later. But that was like before I played the game, and he says, look at the back of the CD, and for some reason, I thought looking at the back of that CD was cheating. I didn't think he was talking about oh. that exact thing, so I was like, no, um, I want to actually find the method of getting this code. So I rang up loads of people. I even looked on the back of the mode disc he gives you, and you put in the items. Huh. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <sighs> that Hideo, that crazy guy. I tell you what, on that note, we should end the video before it cuts out. Because it's. Just yeah, it'll go out. Go up, you'll put it all into one part that you know. Awesome. Ah.